Welcome back to my channel. I'm super excited to see what the month of June has in store for you guys, okay? Um, really quickly, if you're new to my channel, welcome. Make sure you subscribe so you never miss a beat in the future. Also, if you want a personal reading with me, my website information will be linked below. Literally everything you guys need to find me on my other YouTube channels, all that jazz, will be listed below. Uh, make sure you guys join me for my lives. I do live personal readings now. Um, every day around five or six o'clock, we will be doing lives where I will answer your questions. And all you gotta come through and do is give a donation and you will get your question answered. So definitely- Leo, let's go ahead and see what you're currently not aware of. So we got two cards already. We have the Queen of Cups as well as the World card here in reverse. So Queen of Cups being here, and the world card first thing that i'm sensing someone around you this could be a cancer pisces or scorpio really doesn't matter the zodiac sign but someone around you is emotionally disconnecting because they could be holding grudges for things that you guys have have yet to resolve these could be arguments that you guys have had that are kind of continuous in terms of it being the same sub subject that comes up all the time in terms of your relationship uh and this person it's like if you're feeling a level of distance or reluctance to like either get into a relationship or take the relationship to the next level it could be because there could be just this deep disconnect that's taking place below the surface for them because they've never really let go of some things that may have transpired between you two in the past it's like they're they're still harboring on to it uh, another thing you may not be aware of some of you are kind of disassociating emotionally as well if it's not in a romantic sense um this is more so like you guys disconnecting from really being in tune with yourself emotionally some of you guys have been just trying to keep it together trying to not have an emotional breakdown but in doing so you're also neglecting your feelings you're also neglecting letting those feelings out in a productive way you know it's okay to cry it's okay to get certain things off of your chest when you feel like you need to it's all in the way that you go about it and how long you wait to do so because if you wait too long then this energy can come out to be explosive all right um, Spirit is also saying what you're currently not aware of by still entertaining someone where you constantly keep having a, a lesson repeat itself in regards to this individual until you take your power back and, and close this cycle, you could be stuck in the same loop of energy until you get it. Like somebody here is just a lesson for you. And that's what needs to be realized about the situation. So we also have the two of spears. We also have the four of spears. Okay, so yeah, a lot of you also are very d disconnected from what you do to make money. It's very much, okay, I need to do what I need to do so that I can make sure that my bills are paid. But when it comes to actually enjoying it uh, or being, like I said, in this energy of going to work and, and and, and feeling excited about what you do, that could be non-existent. And this may be a sign that you guys are being pulled to maybe step into something that's more of like a passion for you or something that's along the lines of like maybe personal goals that you have or things that you've always wanted to accomplish because that's what's gonna bring you that level of fulfillment, okay? Especially if you have been feeling bored or not as connected with what you do. Another thing I see, Leos, which you're currently not aware of, Spirit is really asking you to make a crucial choice in your life, uh, a choice in between keeping a family situation together or walking on a journey by yourself, doing things your own way, a, uh, a choice between keeping a marriage intact or walking on a personal journey on your own. And for a lot of you, until you make this choice, it's going to feel like every single day is a struggle to, to stay in the same position. All right. I also have the hangman and I do have a card that fell. We have the knight of cups. 
Let me pull one more. And the magician. So, hmm. Another thing you may not be aware of, Leos, there could be so many opportunities around you that you're not seeing, especially when it comes to like career advancement. Say for instance, you want to be a hairstylist or something. You could have all the tools around you. Maybe you know the right people that could put you in certain positions, but because of maybe your mind being caught up in other things like paying the bills or uh, making it through depression that you could be struggling with right now or making it through certain health ailments that you could have, that it could be keeping you from even seeing the opportunity around you so recognize at moments where you think like maybe god has left you out or spirit has left you out in terms of opportunity that's not true at all sometimes it just takes us to look closer at what we do have and how we can make the most out of it and that's where the magician card kind of comes in this is literally the embodiment of making what i have work for me and i think that's what spirit is asking you guys to do here all right Leos. Some of you guys have somebody around you who's very emotionally manipulative. Like they know how to make you feel bad for things that they've done to you. Or they know how to manipulate their emotional tantrums to be something that you may have caused. And some of you guys are dealing with a real a-hole or a narcissist, I will be honest, in terms of them using that to their advantage to keep you emotionally hooked or like on this tightrope of doing things the way that they want you to do it. So be aware, this could be a strong water sign or somebody, you guys will know who I'm talking about if this is you who's experiencing it. Doesn't matter the zodiac sign. But um, continuing, another thing that I'm seeing here Hmm. Some of you guys could have too many financial responsibilities. And when I say this, like you could have way too many bills or bills that are way too high and that you need to be cautious of like basically overwhelming you. Some of you guys literally need to find ways to maybe cut down on certain things or be more resourceful, uh, maybe uh, take certain things out of the rotation of bills, you know, maybe getting rid of a car that doesn't uh, get used a lot or cutting back on just certain expenses because it could be chipping at your finances in a way where over time, if you don't pay attention, will definitely mess you up in the long run. So be careful of, of that, okay? Another thing I'm picking up on, some of you guys, the reason why you haven't left a home situation is because of the fact that there's this level of feeling like you can't do things all on your own when you're counting yourself out. Spirit is, is going to put you in position to do all the things that you want to do. It's just this worry or this anxiety of, oh, will I be able to be a great mother or father by myself? Will I be able to handle the bills by myself? If you're thinking from that mindset, then you're always going to feel like you're in a burdensome situation or as if you can't get out of the same loop of energy. Okay, so don't believe that narrative and your mind could be trying to trick you into believing that. Hmm. But I want to leave the reading there. I wish you the best of luck, Leos. If this was helpful, definitely feel free to thumbs up the video and subscribe. And I will see you later.